So I just got finished shooting uh, with the wonderful Gary Sampson and we shot a lot of film and I'm really glad that we shot together. Um, he's a very knowledgeable person and really knows what he's talking about, very well respected in the community, at least as far as like the New England kind of art scene, photography scene kind of goes. But we had a really nice conversation and I'm really glad that we have been able to talk about it because <laughs> I'm a pretty direct kind of person and I like being able to just like ask things directly and like talk talk about what's on my mind and whatever and I'm really glad that I was able to talk to him about it only because he's very knowledgeable and pretty much kind of confirmed my feelings um, just in the sense of finding creative voice and like what the best thing to do is and art jobs aren't actually art jobs, they're marketing jobs, and that's something that I kind of struggle with, and it's kind of like, what do you want to be known for? Like, what do you want to put out there, and what do you want people to think of you when you do things? How do you think of you when they think of, like, your art and your style and stuff like that? And I feel like I do a lot of things. I really like modeling, I really like photography, but I really like self-portraits, and when I started, I wanted to be known as a model because it's what I thought was fun. And then I really started enjoying photography and like I love taking pictures of people and playing dress up with people and like having like fantasy and all that stuff. But I really like self-portraits and I think that's kind of the route that I want to go now and kind of I want to be known for. I feel like most people when they think of me they do think of my self-portraits <clears throat> as opposed to anything else that I kind of do. And I don't know, it's just like nice to be able to hear some kind of confirmation. Um, from somebody who knows what they're talking about and from somebody who knows what they're doing, I guess would be a way to just would be a way to word it. I don't know. I feel very relieved in it. I've been trying to think about branding myself, and yeah, it kind of was just a confirmation of thoughts that I've been kind of having for a while, but. Anyways, I realized that I haven't posted in like a week and I've been trying to post every like twice a week and every few days or something like that But I Want to kind of I still want to do the vlog kind of thing because I really enjoy it and I like talking about stuff, but I hate these like stupid car selfie Videos that I've been kind of doing So I tried recording an actual like nice like aesthetic beauty pleasing kind of video <laughs> And just um What do you call it? And I wrote like a little script and I kind of want to do stuff like that just so it's like nice and like well put together and well thought out and pretty and like aesthetic as opposed to like those janky selfie whatever the fuck I've been doing. Um, market myself more but market myself in like a nice way. I'm still going to keep doing modeling and I'm still going to keep doing photography and I'll post stuff on like YouTube because I like just having this as an outlet but I think I'm just gonna end up having to create other Instagram accounts or like whatever just to market because, I don't know, I like a lot of things. I can appreciate a lot of different aesthetics and a lot of different genres, but I want to be known for, I guess me, I don't know. There's a lot of validation that I seek in art, especially like my self portrait and I think that's kind of the same as like anyone really who creates, like maybe not validation, but some kind of expression or some kind of communication or something. I know I definitely seek approval from other people. I think that's like my biggest flaw. But I like self-portraits because I can be the art and the artist and I can be appreciated for, I guess, my skill on both sides of things. But yeah, I feel like I've kind of had a thought like this from the beginning. Maybe not as far as self-portraits because I haven't been doing that for that long, but like and I first started doing modeling, and then when I've been doing that for a while, and then started doing photography, I was wondering, should I have both? Should I market both? Should I market one or the other? And it turns out I should just do both, but do both separately. Which is unfortunate, and it is more work, but I don't know. It is what it is, and I don't think it's too late to like market myself as that, just because I've already, I already have like a body of work for each, I guess. I don't know, these are just kind of ramblings, I just kind of like, I like talking about things a lot, like things that are on my mind a lot, and I definitely used to keep a journal, but it just kind of becomes tiring after a while just because it takes, the, the, the thought 
enters my head and I just want to say it and writing takes like more time and then like halfway through my I write my sentence out halfway through I like I'm already like thinking like another sentence and I'm like wait what how do I finish this sentence so yeah I like doing vlog kind of things but I definitely think that I want to be better at them than this just this kind of shitty car stuff but I will kind of still do these because I think these are a lot more authentic and I don't know even if there are kind of a mess and even if I do ramble there is some kind of like point to my ramblings and like I said it's a little more authentic I don't know just marketing sucks I guess is the baseline of this and finding out what you want to be known for kind of sucks as well but I guess it's whatever I don't know but anyways um I'll post things more frequently. There are definitely a lot more things that I want to do. Um, I guess the main problem has been time. I just put in my two weeks notice today. I had a part-time job. I got a part-time job in January, February, January, the end of January, I got a part-time job. I've been working there and it's been like really fucking up not only my work kind of schedule, but my sleep schedule too because I've been doing um, working overnights at a gas station, which is really shitty and it's terrible. But I'm glad to be able to quit that and go back to just freelancing everything again. I think that when I did it last year, <laughs> I was very manic and I was like, super crazy and all over the place. I had really struggled with my organization, but I think I'm in a much better place now, much better mindset, much better, like, I have more of a path of where I want to go as opposed, because a lot of times I just have goals and I don't really know how to reach those goals and I just kind of like throw a lot of shit at the wall and hope something works but I feel a lot better and a lot more confident right now as far as like I have goals and I feel like I have more of an understanding of how to achieve those um I don't know I think art is very formulaic and even like art jobs are formulaic because as I said art jobs are just marketing jobs but it's all kind of a formula to everything, which I guess is a good thing because you know you can do something and at least have some kind of mild success, but I don't know. I think for a while I was really depressed when I learned that because, I don't know, I, there's like a little bit of childhood wonder in things, like, it's like a magic trick kind of, like, you see something and like, it's so cool and then like you figure out how to do it and it's not as cool as it anymore because it's just a formula but this, I don't really know what the point of this was I just kind of wanted to talk because I like I said I like talking about random crap but I don't know I'm excited for future plans I'm excited to like market myself correctly I'm excited to work on new projects and like all that kind of stuff but very really excited for all of it and I hope that you are too, and I hope that you enjoy my work and continue to enjoy my work, but yeah. <laughs>